veil of the temple was torn right down the middle. Into thy hands, I commit my spirit. Glory be to God. Certainly, this was a righteous man. Joseph of Arimathea, a righteous member of the council who had not consented to this deed, obtained permission from Pontius Pilate to lay Jesus' body in a tomb before the Sabbath commenced at sundown. Forgive us. We are following the body of our Lord. All are welcome. But come, the Sabbath is approaching. Very early on the Sunday morning, they came to the tomb, carrying the spices they had prepared. Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember what he said to you while he was in Galilee. The Son of Man will be handed over to sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day rise again. to us, angels shining like the sun, and said to us, why do you look for the living among the dead? It's true. Believe us. Believe us. We saw them. Go and see for yourselves. The tomb was empty. Our Lord was gone. Peter, you must believe us.
The Lord has risen indeed. He has appeared to Simon. We didn't recognize him. Not on the road. But when he broke bread, then we knew. At Emmaus. How strange he should go there. Peace be with you. Why are you troubled? Why are these doubts coming up in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet and see that it is I myself. Feel me and you will know. For a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see I have. These are the very things I spoke to you about while I was still with you. That everything written about me in the law of Moses and the writings of the prophets and the Psalms had to come true. This is what is written. The Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And in his name, the message of repentance and of forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And I myself bring the promise of my Father upon you. But you must wait in the city until the power from above comes down upon you. Bless you and keep you.